How long do you think it would take for you to double your money in the market? I like to teach new investors about compound rates of return by employing the rule of 72. You take a yearly rate of return, let's say 7%, and divide it into the number 72 to find out how many years it takes to double. So an investor receiving a 7% rate of return will see his or her money double in 10 years. At a 5% a year rate of return, an investor will wait 14 years to see their investment double. At 9% a year, they'll wait just eight years. Doubling one's money throughout their life multiple times is the only chance most people have of getting rich. But it really is possible. Humans are comfortable thinking in terms of incrementalism. I eat a salad every day this week, I lose a few pounds. I do a set of push-ups each night, I get a little stronger. Not me, but like the proverbial person. But doubling is a little harder to conceive of, especially because of the time necessary in order to allow things to double. To see how hard it is for people to wrap their heads around the math of compounding, I hit the streets. Let's see what happened. I'm here with Jonathan. Jonathan, I want to ask you like very, very simple math question. Are you good at math? I'm terrible. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> what is six plus six plus six? 18. 18? Six times three is 18. Really easy, right? Yeah. Your kindergartners one. can do it. Or well, maybe yeah. not yet. Getting there. Okay. Getting there. All right. This gets a little harder. Okay. Six times six times six. Oh. Six thirty-six times three. One ninety-eight. One ninety-six. One ninety-two. Six six. One ninety-six. Very very close. It's two six. <laughs> well, probably we won't use that part. Two hundred and sixteen. Got it. Wait, was that right? Yes. What? You're the first person that got it right. What? Really? Yeah. Why do you think I'm asking you that? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> you tell me. I'll tell you why. <laughs> People have a lot of trouble thinking about compounding when they invest. How small numbers get very big over mm -hmm. time. To think in terms of the exponential, right. right? It's so much easier to think linearly, um, but it's the most important concept in investing and why you want to start now. As young as you guys are, like this is the best time. So if I asked you, what do you think the average annual return for the U.S. stock market has been since the end of World War II? Take a guess. Well, ups and downs, sure. average, I would say five. Five percent? Yeah. Six percent. Six or seven. Let's go eight. Eight to ten. Okay, she's, she's very close. Um, the actual number is 11.2 percent. So what do you think that works out to over the 74-year period since the end of World War II? What's the total percent, the total return? Guess a crazy number. You'll never get it. So 80. 80%? Yeah. No. What about you? It's way, 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 a way bigger. Crazy number. 200. 270,000%. Okay. I would say I want to fact check that. But okay. I also couldn't do you six can, times six. You can trust six me. Times times six. Six. You can trust me on TV. <laughs> wow. So is that okay, an argument for huge. investing? It totally is. It is. The accumulation of wealth is quiet and steady for most investors, but nevertheless, it's extremely powerful. An investor with a 40-year time horizon, between say 25 and 65 years of age, could see their money double and double again many times over with a simple portfolio of stock and bond funds. And the best part is, they're always adding, so that new contributions may only be working on their first double, while older contributions may already be on their second or third go-round. Compounding while contributing is beautiful to watch in action, even as it takes place in slow motion. Here's how Byron Reese makes the point in his book, The Fourth Age, talking about the creation of chess. About a thousand years ago, a mathematician in what is today India is said to have brought his creation to the ruler and showed him how the game is played. The ruler, quite impressed, asked the mathematician what he wanted for a reward. The mathematician responded that he was a humble man, his needs were few, he simply asked that a single grain of rice would be placed on the first square of the chessboard, then two on the second, four on the third, each square doubling along the way. All he wanted was the rice that would be on the 64th square. How much rice do you think this is? Would it fill a silo? A warehouse? It is actually more rice than has ever been cultivated in the entire history of humanity. Here's another example from Reese. Picture the Empire State Building. Okay. If I told you I was gonna line up dominoes and each domino gets 50% bigger, 
How many dominoes before you can knock over the Empire State Building? <laughs> 320,000. So it's so much less. Like a thousand dominoes? 200. Okay, what do you got? 85. 75. 50. It's 32 dominoes. No. Just 32? What? Wow. That's why you want to start investing oh. now. So I think that speaks to the power of compounding. Okay. Little numbers get really big, really, really fast, especially toward the end. Of course, there are risks. You could be doubling your money for decades only to see bad returns or lose money towards the end of your life when you really need it. But that's not a reason to sit out. Everyone's heard of Warren Buffett. Everyone knows he's rich and he's pretty much always been rich. Not a lot of people are aware that almost 95% of all of the money he's made, he made after the age of 60. Warren Buffett was worth three or $4 billion in the late 1980s. He since made an additional $80 billion. Warren Buffett has seen his net worth double four and a half times in the last 30 years. Doubling your money four and a half times sounds pretty good. It is not completely out of the realm of possibility for the average investor.